interp switching is a exploit I recently discovered. I cannot take all credit for the discovery of this exploit because I only decided to try it out because I watched an old video about interp switching in TF2. And this video I'm showing on the screen shows the exploit much more clearly. It shows how powerful it can be, especially in a game like Team Fortress. In Fistful of Frags, it isn't as useful as TF2 because of a few things. First of all, when you're using any sniper rifle in Fistful of Frags, you don't have a crosshair. You just have the iron sights or the cross in your scope, but that doesn't really count as a crosshair. A crosshair is something that is built into the HUD, not part of the weapon. The second reason is because there is random spread when you are moving around and when you are jumping, which makes sniping a little bit more difficult and makes accuracy a bit more difficult. Basically what this exploit does is it gives you about half a second of time where all entities, all movable things freeze. So that counts players, bots, physics props, the, the train in some maps, and like the, the big water wheel in Cripple Creek, those kinds of things. Anything, Basically anything that can move is affected by this. Interpolation is kind of complicated, so I'm not going to talk about it in this video. But there is a great page, which I will link to in the description, that explains what interpolation does. So like I said before, this exploit isn't as useful in Fistful of Frags as it is in a game like Team Fortress 2. And in Team Fortress, this exploit was fixed a few years ago. The fix was simple. They changed it so you cannot change your interp while you are alive. So you have to either be dead or in spectator or in the main menu to be able to change your interp. I'm hoping this exploit gets fixed. It isn't as game-breaking as some of the other exploits I have showcased in the past, all the map exploits, but it is still something that, that can be exploited quite a bit. All these clips here are me interp switching, and you will see that when my lerp switches to 500, that is when I press my first key that switches the interp to 0.5. You will see that all the players will stop moving for about half a second, so all I have to do is click on their head while they are frozen, and it's an easy kill most of the time. This exploit isn't as useful to players who can aim consistently. If you are able to aim quickly, and hit most of your shots, you're better off just playing normally. I generally got about the same score that I do while when I normally play when I played with interp switching.